What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about um, some information on the stimulus checks and speculation really about how I feel about the amount. So as you've seen from the title, it might be less than $1,200 and I'll give you my reasons why it might be less than $1,200. Before I start, make sure you hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week, so stick around to the end of the video to hear all about that. Now this video shouldn't be too long, I'm trying to make them shorter, but then every time I say that, it ends up being longer. So I don't know. But the reason why I'm talking about this in this video is because uh, recently a lot of people are talking about the income cap. So $40,000 last year, the year before that, if you made over $40,000, then you wouldn't get the $1,200 check and it would be phased out from what I understand. Um, so it's not like it's going to be a, a cutoff at 40000 It's going to start to trickle down and you'll get less money as you start to make more, but then there will be a cap and we don't know what that actual cap will be to where you get $0. Now, they're trying to say, Republicans are saying that they really want to give the stimulus check to less people. And it's basically in order to save money. It's not really in order to say that some people are struggling more than others. Yes, uh, people that make less money are probably struggling more than others, but then there's also other people that make less money that are saving their money well, and they're not struggling. So you're never going to get to 100% people that are struggling if that's what you're trying to do. Now, there are people that are making over that $40,000 a year uh, threshold and they're struggling at that point and I don't like that if they're struggling then they're basically affected by the pandemic and they're not going to get any assistance under this whole plan so what I feel is going to be um, the issue here so right now uh, Trump is saying that he wants it to be generous now he's not the one negotiating this he's the one that's going to be signing off on it so if he said something about two thousand dollars or one thousand two hundred dollars he wants it to be that then in order to send it out to more people with this income cap or something like that or not having an income cap, um, you would actually just say, all right, well, you know what? I'm going to give $600 to people. And if they give $600 to people um, for one month, one payment, then basically you can double the amount of people that you're going to give it to and then they're going to move that threshold from 40 to 80. I feel like that's the negotiation strategy as someone that negotiates all the time for car dealerships, for a lot of different things, especially going to New York and haggling and whatnot. You always have to negotiate in every situation and I feel like that's like negotiating 101. You know, you... You start low or you start high in any instance, and then you meet halfway in the middle. So that's how it's going to be, and that's the way that I see it. So I feel like it could be to the point to where people that are expecting $1,200 might not get $1,200, but I, I feel like a lot of people are just saying, get me something. And they're trying to make it sound good by going, oh, well, you know what? We can only hand it out to people with uh, less than $40,000 per year that make less than $40,000 per year. And then they say, well, you know what, if we cut the stimulus check in half, then maybe we can hand it out to more people. So I think that's what they're going to eventually do. Um, and I, I don't know where they're getting their statistics from when it comes to the $40,000. I haven't seen anything. And it kind of pisses me off that they're saying that, that people that make less than $40,000 a year are affected by this more. So that's what I had here. I wanted to talk about the $1,200 and give you an instance to where uh, negotiations will come into play and it might end up giving more checks or checks to more individuals based on the fact that they only want to give it to a certain group, a targeted group. So let me know what you think of this. Do you think that they're trying to just do this negotiation strategy, how the Democrats basically played high ball and, you know, the Republicans played low ball and then they kind of meet in the middle? Do you feel like they're doing that with the income cap or do you feel like they're doing that with the amount of checks? Let me know exactly how you feel. I feel like it's the amount. They don't want to send out a large amount. They want to send out a smaller amount, similar to um, the not the first stimulus checks, but uh, the stimulus checks under Obama, like those stimulus checks were smaller. So it just made it really easy to be able to justify that with a smaller amount. So that's the way that I'm feeling. So let me know what you think, but make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. And all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is go over to my Instagram, DM me, let me know that you want to enter the giveaway and that you're subscribed to both YouTube channels, this one and the Perry Experience, and then you'll get one ticket in the hat. So um, thank you so much for all the people that watch my channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, but 
I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.